Alright, man. I already know what the fuck y'all thinking, dog. And I know what the fuck Hergovic been saying all week. Oh, man, if I lose the damn, I'm going to retire from boxing. Nigga, get your ass the, the fuck out of here then, goddammit. Get the fuck out of boxing then, goddammit. Because why you got to do Daniel like that like he ain't shit? That's fucked up. So here's my thing, right? I got to go with Daniel, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. He's, he's got the... He's, he's coming with the vengeance from the from the sparring, all right, that these two have had. <clears throat> I look at it like this, right? Who the fuck has Hergovic beat? Who has he been in the ring with? That's the question. Not who has he beat. Who has he been in the ring with? Okay. I look at his best wins. I look at his best wins as this right here. <clears throat> Zhang. McKean. Amir Amatovic. That's it. That's it. Maybe you could say Marco Radonic. Maybe you could say him too. You know, 23 and 1. All 23 wins by way of knockout. You know, sturdy guy. Was younger. You know, early 30s when Hergovic beat him. You, you, you could say him too. But when it comes to top 10, top 10 heavyweights. Daniel been in there with the guys, man. He been in there with them guys, man. Right? Simple as that, man. That's just my opinion, man. All right? He been in there with Usi. We know how it went. We don't need to talk about how it went. We talking about the experience he gained from being in there with who is now considered the best heavyweight fighter in the world. The damn near pound for pound number one fighter in the world right now, Alexander Usi. He been in there. Some people will say, he, Daniel, should be undisputed champion right now. We we could have a debate, was the shot legal, was it not? Daniel, you know, in my opinion, I think it was I think it was good. I think it was good. We seen some angles, you know. I went from the angle I seen, I think it was good, you know. Some people think it was shit. It is what it is. Whatever you think, you know, the young lion, the young guy, Daniel, who's only 26, just a little bit older than Big Baby Anderson, just a little bit. Went in there. He been in there with the top dudes, man. Young, youthful, strong. You know, relatively same size as Hergovic. Both guys can move their feet if they want to in the ring. Um, I think Daniel's coming to prove something. Daniel called this man out for a reason. If there's going to be any upsets on the card, I think it's this one, man. I honestly think that it's this one. Um. And, and I'm behind Daniel, man. I was behind Daniel for the Miller fight. You know, nobody believed in him that he would win that fight that, at all. You know, I stuck to my guns. I'm like, yo, I got I got Daniel, man. Daniel about to fuck him up. Uh, it's all about the game plan, though, right? Zhang was in there. He was hitting Hergovic with some hot shit, man. I, I do believe that Hergovic does have the chin that everybody says he does. But who got up on that body, though? Who got up on that body? Can Daniel get to the body? Daniel also, in my opinion, has a very strong uppercut. Now, I know what you're saying. Kevin Lorena dropped Daniel three times. Daniel went down the first time from a punch. The other couple times, it looked like something was wrong with his fucking leg. All right, come to find out, they said it was something about his ACL, something like that. His leg was fucked up. But, you know, I'm a person who's real high on Justice Hooney. And I thought Justice Hooney being the beast that he is, and I know he went the distance with Tabidi, who is was a cruiserweight or whatever. But, you know, Tabidi, in my opinion, is a very excellent boxer, uh, boxer puncher. Uh, you know, I don't know, man. You know, I'm not going to say Hooney should have stopped Tabidi, but uh, I can see why he didn't is what I'm saying. Now, what I can't see is how Hooney didn't stop Lorena. I thought Hooney was going to cook Lorena, man. But then, you know, Lorena came out, said his mom passed away. Shout out Boog, the nigga, you know, OVAJ, OVAJ. Shout out J, man. You know, tapped in, was like, yo, dude got, that's motivation right there in itself, man. His mom just passed. You know, he ain't coming out there to, you know, get fucked up and shit, so. But regardless, man, I, I, you know, I felt like there was a couple times where 
Hooney, you know, could have stepped up, stepped on the gas pedal and put some damage on the arena and shit. But man, listen, Daniel punched that mu- punched that man in his shit, and that man was hurt. You know what I'm saying? Daniel hit you, and, and and Daniel got a lot of knockouts, man. You know, Daniel got a lot of knockouts, man. You know, Hergovic 17 and no 14 knockouts. Daniel 20 and two, 20 uh, 19 of his wins by knockout, right? So, Daniel, and we saw with her, we saw with Miller that Daniel can punch to the end, right? He's punching all the way through rounds. I'm going with Daniel, man. I know what y'all thinking. If, 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 I'm going, with, I'm going with my heart, right? My mind, my mind say Hergovic. My mind say Hergovic decision, man. I, 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 everybody think Daniel gonna get knocked out. This the thing. I don't think Daniel gonna get knocked out, man. Hergovic, you just gotta get him past six rounds, and then start laying the body work on him. Start, just start if you can. However you can, just get past six rounds. Start laying the body work on him. If Rydell Booker can go five rounds with with Hergovic, Daniel can go six to eight. If Daniel gets past six, Daniel can go the distance with Hergovic, bro. He can, but he's gotta he's gotta meet he's gotta meet fire with fire. He's gotta he's gotta show that resistance. He's gotta land, all right. He's gotta land on him. We seen Zhang, we seen Hergovic struggle with Zhang. In my opinion, I went back, I watched the fight. I went back, I watched the fight. I went back, I scored the fight. 114, 113, Zhang. That's just my card. I'm sorry. That's what I that's 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 what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um I I, I based it off of not output. I based it off of uh effective punching. Um aggressiveness. You know, when when Hergovic was doing all the moving and, and Zhang was able to keep it moving, keep him on the back foot, you know, to me that was the ring general shit. Um, you know, just just forcing Hergovic to move, to stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Hergovic would, would would have his little spurts. He would try to get off when he when he could, cause cause Zang was hitting some with some hot shit. You know, you, he <laughs> Zang was hitting with some hot shit, man. That, that when I was listening to the fight, I'm watching that listening. When I was watching it, bro, I'm listening cause I, I listen with the headphones in, and it sounded like he just. Was hitting that man with cinder blocks. You know what I'm saying? Just blah, blah, like, that, that, he was punching the fuck out of his ass. So I don't doubt that uh, Hergovic has a sturdy chin. Hard to see. Hard to see uh, Hergovic getting knocked out. But again, the chin ain't the only thing. You, you gotta, Daniel. You gonna have to go to the body, my guy. You know, you see this torso. It's all that torso there, man. You gonna have to somehow, some way, get to that body, man. But yeah, I'm going with Daniel. Uh, gift decision Controversial I don't know Close fight I don't know I'm going with Daniel man Put it on the slip <laughs>